Hi there, it's Bill Weemoth from HistoryHighlights.com. Hope you're having a wonderful day. For our feature about Today in History, let's go over to the Library of Congress today and learn a little bit about Andrew Jackson and the Creek War. On August the 9th of 1814, Major General Andrew Jackson, known as Old Hickory, signed the Treaty of Fort Jackson ending the Creek War. The agreement provided for the surrender of 23 million acres of Creek land to the United States. This vast territory encompassed more than half of present-day Alabama and parts of southern Georgia. The war began on August 30th, 1813, when a faction of Creeks known as the Red Sticks, because of their Red War Clubs, attacked American settlers at Fort Mims near Lake Tensaw, Alabama, north of Mobile. This attack is considered a primary cause of the Creek War. In response, Jackson led a force of militiamen in the destruction of two Creek villages, Tallahassee and Talladega. On March 27th of 1814, Jackson's forces destroyed the Creek defenses at the Battle of Horseshoe Bend. More than 800 Creek warriors were killed defending their homeland. Tensions between the frontier settlers and the Creeks had been brewing since the Revolutionary Era. During the years preceding the Creek War, the Continental Congress received numerous reports on the status of Indian affairs in the South. The following excerpt from a 1787 report identifies settler greed as a major cause of the conflict. An avaricious disposition in some of our people to acquire large tracts of land, and often by unfair means, appears to be the principal source of the difficulties with the Indians. Various pretenses seem to be set up by the white people for making those settlements, which the Indians, tenacious of their rights, appear to be determined to oppose. Andrew Jackson, of course, a complicated character, bold, decisive military leader, but reactionary and often savage. You can learn a lot more about Andrew Jackson. Andrew Jackson, a resource guide at the Library of Congress, gives you more information than you could ever prowl through. A fascinating life, a fascinating era, and I hope you'll bring your fascination over for some one-hour stories at HistoryHighlights.com, ebooks, paperback books, audio books, and video presentations. We look forward to seeing you over there. Have a wonderful day.